The first movement that we're doing is targeting our hamstring muscles using the massage ball. This device really digs into that area and loosens up any tight muscles that you have. I'm pushing off the opposite leg to put more pressure in the leg that I'm rolling. The next thing that we're doing is rolling our glute and hip region. All I'm doing is crossing over the leg on the side of the glute and hip that I'm rolling and digging into it more by pushing off the opposite heel. This one really digs into that area and loosens up all tight hips and glutes. The next thing that I'm doing is putting the ball around the rhomboid and upper back region and I'm pushing off my heels, lifting my butt off the ground so I can put extra pressure in that area. The next thing is I'm rolling my shoulder muscles. You can also put the ball against a wall and it is a lot easier to target. The last thing is rolling around our feet. We all need that, it feels amazing. Now we're moving on to the regular foam roller. This one is targeting our IT band muscles and the foam roller creates more surface area that you can roll around. The massage ball digs in more. The next thing that we're doing is flipping around and rolling our quad muscles. So this is a bigger muscle group, so I like using the foam roller for this area. The next thing that we're doing is digging into our upper back to loosen tight muscles. I do not use the foam roller on my lower back as this can cause injury. Next, we're rolling out our calf muscles, so I'm lifting my butt off the ground and using my hands to roll it back and forth. 